Hey, what's up, guys? So, it's me, it's Matt. Just trying to do a little quick vlog here. I'm at the park here, surrounded by all my neighbors and over here in Studio City. <clears throat> I've been going to this park for years. Um, it's the park I would take my kids to when they were really little. And you know, I've always lived in an apartment during my adult life. And so, because we, we've always rented, I haven't, um, I haven't had a yard for the kids to play in. So, one of the things that I've been big on is always taking my kids to the playground. So I would take them three, four, five times a week. And, um, Sorry, I'm switching angles here, but people are walking around. And I don't want them to think I'm filming them. But, uh, yeah, so I would take my kids as much as I could to the playground. I'm, there's a lot of playgrounds in the area, so I would rotate it so it wouldn't get stale. But, like, we had a good five or six playgrounds we would rotate. And um, this is when I was doing the graveyard shift. I would watch them during the day. So I would take them out to the playground... Um, or after school when they started school and I gotta tell you for my money that's my happy place that's uh, that's my favorite place it's just being at the playground watching your kids play and laugh and having a good time it's the sound of laughter and your kids being happy and so if you have kids and if they're little you know don't take that for granted really enjoy that I had um, I had a cardiac incident a couple weeks ago it's kind of been an ongoing thing like kind of an ongoing progression and, um, and <laughs> it was scary it's actually scary um, it, it, I don't know what to say they they said I might have had a mild heart attack and it wasn't detected um, and, and they thought it could be a blood clot. They're still thinking maybe it might be, so they're, they got me on blood thinners, which should handle the blood clot if it's there. But uh, I, have, I have a condition, which is hereditary, which I didn't know. Uh, my mom just told me this, because both my grandparents on her side had it, and uh, she has it. And it's called uh, atrial fibrillation it's where your heart, the four chambers of the heart, are not working together, you know, pumping in and out. One of them goes rogue, one of the chambers, and uh, that's brought on by hypertension. And it can lead to strokes and heart attacks and things like that. So this kind of started about a year ago, and I would get dizzy and faint, and I wouldn't know what was going on. I probably should have had it checked out then, and I didn't. So then a couple of weeks ago, I was uh, walking this walk I do every day. I, I walk that 10 minutes. It's a good little walk. I try to get my steps in um, to pick my son up, my, my youngest, from school. And for whatever day, for whatever reason, this one particular day, I just I couldn't do it. I got to the school, and that was as far as I could get. And so that kind of wound up with me calling my neighbor to pick him up from school and then go and get my other son while I was ambulanced to the uh, emergency room where they kept me for a few days. And uh, luckily, you know, my, uh, my son's mom was able to step in and help out with the boys and my neighbor helped out. So I've just kind of been like recovering I haven't really seen my boys in the past couple of weeks because I'm trying to, you know, get my zen and kids are, you know, kind of noisy and rowdy and I got to give the medication a chance to kick in, which I think it's starting to. It's uh, uh, blood thinners and um, something else. And they don't know if that's going to be permanent or not. 
you know, but for now, I'm doing that and diet and like hoping to exercise. So today is really the first day I've been out and around people. And, uh, you know, there was a few hours there where I thought, okay, this is it, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm departing the mortal coil. I didn't really have a lot of regrets. And I'm not saying that in a cocky way. I'm just saying like I've been, <laughs> I've had a hard life and a uh, hard adult life, but I've also been very, very blessed in a lot of ways. And I've done a lot of things that I've wanted to do. Um, you know, seen and, and talked to and had a lot of the conversations that I've wanted. And, um, you know, besides the past few years, I guess, because of the pandemic, you know, but we all kind of went through that. But I got a lot of time with my sons. Like, I, I've literally had them, I've kind of had them all to myself for the past five years, you know. Granted, two and a half of those years were pandemic years and, you know, it was remote learning and, you know, I've loved being a dad 